back to Miss Cindy's Kitchen. I'm going to show you today how to make a peach pie, um, a shortcut version, because we're getting into the season where a lot of fruit will be coming ripe. And this way you can see another idea to use that fruit. I had these peaches in the freezer. And when you're starting with frozen fruit, it needs to be thawed and drained. I put it in a colander over a plate so the fruit could, uh, whatever liquid was on it from thawing, would come off of it so the pie is not too wet. And soggy. And, and soggy, yes. So I'd already had the peaches thawing out to make a dessert because I was in the mood for peaches. And when I went by grocery outlet earlier, they had ready to use pie crust for two packages for a dollar. Can't beat that. So, I looked up an easy peach pie recipe. Go so, on. I love peach pie. Yeah. I'm going to, I used a bag of frozen peaches. That was approximately six cups was the, is the yield. So I'm just gonna stir it to get off some of the extra moisture. And as you can tell, it did have a little bit of moisture on it. So, and do that. And then you toss the peaches with a cup of sugar and half a cup of flour. That will help thicken the, the juices to make a sauce for the pie. And then we have a half a teaspoon of cinnamon. Cinnamon goes in a lot of things. That's really good, especially good with peaches and other fruit based items. So half a teaspoon of cinnamon. And then we're gonna mix that up. So we're just gonna toss the peaches with the flour. When you make a pie, you need to put flour in it to help make the sauce. And this is kind of a I would call a semi-homemade dessert because you're starting out with prepared fruit and a prepared crust. Of all the cooking and baking that I do, the one thing that I like the least is peeling and cutting up fruit. So if I have fruit all ready to go, it's more likely to be made into a dessert than if it were just sitting in the fruit bowl completely intact. So. We have two crusts. This is a nine inch deep dish pie plate. Uh, they look like very thin Ritz cracker uh, sleeves. <laughs> they kind of do, it's the same kind of plastic. So you just snip the package and open it up. And it needs to sit at room temperature for at least a half an hour. So now we're going to roll it out. Ah, it's sticking to itself a little bit. <laughs> so, and then we're just going to roll it out and put it inside the pie plate. This is a nice semi-homemade dessert. And try to get it even so you have the uh, pie crust come up to the top because you're going to need to seal the top and the bottom pie crusts so that way the juices don't leak out while it's cooking. So that's why I'm kind of forming it up the sides. So you take that, the prepared pie crust, Ooh. and then you dump the filling in. That's the technical term. You dump the pie filling into the pie. Oh, that looks good. Yeah. Oh, it smells good too. And it's very simple because the peaches were already prepared and frozen. All right. Got it. And of all the baking and cooking that I do, I have yet to master pies. So that's something I'm going to be working on. But for now, I'm going to make a simple fruit pie. <laughs> with a refrigerated pie crust. It looks like a uh, giant uh, 
blank tortilla. That's why I was just brought <laughs> this. <so>. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like a wet blank tortilla. <laughs> Better than a wet blanket. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So, and you want to make sure that the top and the bottom pie crusts touch. So if any of you all out there have tips for pie baking, let me know because I just do not have natural inclination in this area and it's something that I'm working on. Oh, you made an apple pie a while back that was really good. Yeah, it just takes time and practice. And patience. And patience, yes. So I've sealed the top and the bottom crusts together. Now I'm going to try to make the pie crust look pretty. I don't have natural inclination or skill in this area, so it's a learning experience. So if y'all have tips for me on pie baking, anything to make things easier, well, let me know. Well, it doesn't necessarily have to look pretty, just as it tastes good. Yeah. I just don't want the, the pie crust to be a big hard rock around the side of the pie, because that has happened before, especially when I tried making pie crust from scratch. I didn't roll it out quite thin enough because, again, it's a learning experience. So, and generally, I guess you just pinch like this to make the pie crust. So, that's one thing I'm learning. So, any tips or advice are welcome. It may not be pretty, but it will taste good. And one key thing with baking pies is that you always need to protect the crust. And then you also need to put some slits in the pie shell in order to prevent it from steaming over. And, and popping. Yeah. And I accidentally left the butter out of the recipe. You can tell I'm a novice at making pies, so... What do you do now? I guess I can just perform surgery. Or you can make toast. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's funny. You know what? It's all good, you know? I'm just gonna With shove a little bit of butter in each little corner here. Oh my goodness, I can't believe I did that. But you know what? It's all good. You know what? It's a learning experience. And I probably what will have butter left over for toast what are you, at this rate. What did Bob Ross say? Happy little accidents? Yeah. Well, you might get like pockets of, uh, so, I don't know, like buttery goodness are, in that, you, one, that one spot. Are you supposed pie. to mix the butter in there or are you just supposed to put it in there? You're supposed to put it in there. Oh, okay. Actually, you know what? As you all can see, Baking pies is not my strong point. When you said you forgot the butter, I'm like, oh my gosh, she's going to have to like open that whole thing up and mix it in the... And you're just like, no. <laughs> I just got to like go back and throw it in there. But you know what? It's a... Uh... Uh, right now it's a mess, but... All right. Clean off my fingers here so I can push the pie crust together. All right. And you're supposed to sprinkle some sugar on the top of the crust. So I'm going to do this fancy technique called pour it in your hand and sprinkle it on the crust. Because this isn't my normal, uh, I'm great at making cookies and quick breads and cakes and cupcakes and such. But I haven't quite mastered this so, yet. So you're sprinkling on the like pixie dust. Yes. So I'm hoping some magic will get in there and mix the butter in that. I should have mixed it in earlier. <laughs> so. it, it, it's for spring. It, it, it looks like the, the sugary donut, like the, the, the sugar donut. Yeah. Yeah. It, if you know what I'm talking about. You know what you're talking about. Yeah, I gotta cover up that filling so it seals it. So anyway, eventually I will have mastered pie baking. So we're going to put this in the oven at 425 for 40 minutes. And before I forget, got to put some foil around the edges. Now, why do you do that? So 
the pie crust will not look like an old man in a tanning bed for too long. <laughs> <laughs> and, and also, isn't that a little too thin to put on their heads and to, and to drink the hats? I mean, getting like, um, like seen, radio signals women, from the I've galaxy. The beauty parlor. <laughs> That's for like when you want to do hair color. Or bleaching or lightning or something. No, why do you need the the thingy the hair the the foil for the hair color? Exactly. It seals it in, but in this case it will prevent the crust from getting too dark. Okay. Okay. So you bake it most of the way with the with the um, foil on the edges. And then for the last fifteen minutes, you take off the foil so it can get brown on the edges. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put it on a baking sheet so that way if it boils over it doesn't pee in the oven and make a stink. Um, and I lined the, the sheet pan with some foil. If it boils over and makes a mess, it won't make a mess in the oven. All right, and that's got to cook for about 45 minutes. So we will bring you back when it's ready to come out of the oven. And the pie has baked. And again, it was 35 minutes with the foil rim on the edge of the pie crust. Once you take the foil off of the edges, you bake it for another 15 minutes. So let's pull this out of the oven. Ooh. How does that look? Amazing. Amazing. Okay. All right. Now, would you look at that? Yep. That looks delicious. Got an extreme close up. Don't burn your hand on the pan. You, you, you gotta like feel the heat, <laughs> but, but, but the not heat. the burn. <laughs> All right. So, we're gonna let this sit out for a little while and cool off completely. Because if you cut a pie too soon, it basically will collapse and that the hot filling will melt. So you have to give the um, pie time to set up. So we'll come back with you after it's cooled off a bit and we'll let you know how it looks on the inside. So don't forget to like and subscribe and share this video to your friends and give us your feedback. And we'll be back with you shortly. And we're back and the pie has cooled off almost an hour. We wanted to make sure it was cool enough so the filling didn't collapse once we cut into it. And we have taste testers available because Logan's now <gasps> home from work. Yay! <laughs> That's Tyler. That's me. <laughs> I'm the <man> of him. <laughs> what? Yay, you to see the... Yay, Logan! Wait, you wanted to see the taste testers. Oh, okay. Well, I guess we're the taste testers. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was doing. That's why I was circling you. Yeah. All right. Ooh, man, look how ju juicy that is. Look at that. Yeah. Ooh, oh, oh, oh. A little soupy on the inside, but it'll set up more well, as well, it cools. Well, better soupy than soggy. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Yeah, whoops. And it lost half its guts. <laughs> <laughs> it's a cutlass wonder. The pie has been cutlass. Um, uh, did you say gutless or cutlass? That too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, Logan. Oh boy. You can test the pie. Peach pie. Try the peach pie. What do you think? It's good. I was trying some of the peaches and a little bit of the crust. Yeah. That is good. Mm -hmm. All right, so we'll get the second piece out. And the filling is still still warm. And still losing its yeah. guts. <laughs> so this is the importance of um, having the flour in the fruit mixture. It helps make the uh, sauce more creamy. Good. That doesn't look like a, uh, like a pie slice. It looks like a pile so of guts. Can, yep, so you can record <laughs> your dad having to bite. I love peach pie. Look at this. 
Look at all the steam off it. You don't have to get that close. <laughs> it's like the micro. Seriously, you don't have to get that close. <laughs> you kept and I lost my fork. You kept yeah. moving the plate. Yeah, I know, because you had such a super close-up on it. All right. Mmm. This is so good. Yeah, you don't get any. <laughs> so we have a. Uh... Drop my fork. <laughs> Please don't drop this one. <laughs> right. Fork number three. <laughs> After this, we'll just switch to plastic and then we can throw them all out and still wash them. Mmm, this is really good. All right. So back over here, Tyler. The two lone forks. All right. So anyway, well, thank you for joining us again today. And this is a simplified version of a peach pie. Because you started out with frozen fruit that's already prepared. You just had to strain it a little bit. And the pre-made pie crust. So this is kind of a semi-homemade. And it tastes fantastic. And it was relatively easy. Even though I'm kind of a relative novice at pie baking. So... Anyway, thank you again for joining us today, and please like and subscribe and share to your friends, and we look forward to seeing you again real soon. Have a nice evening. Thank you for watching Miss Cindy's Kitchen. To get more recipes like this one, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell for notifications when new videos are uploaded. Share it out to your friends, family, and neighbors, and leave us a comment to let us know how this recipe worked for you. And don't forget to hit that like button. Again, thank you for watching Miss Cindy's Kitchen.